happy 4th of December, happy 4th day of Vlogmas. How are we all today? I hope that you're all doing well. I have only just got up, um, so yeah, I, I may look a little tired, a little not quite with it, that would be why. I've not had my cup of tea or my breakfast yet. I am recording nice and early because I have work today, so I'm in the office today. It's a, yeah, an office day. <laughs> And um, my partner is in bed because he's had the day off, well booked the day off I should say. So hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm trying not to be too loud, um, but I, there there is a chance I'll get excited and, and forget that I'm trying to be quiet. So my apologies, but hopefully all of this will happen perfectly fine. So I'm going to get stuck in because I do need to start work. So the first calendar, as always, is the lovely Siobhan's Crafts. I'll take that off. Um, let me find day. Window four. Window four. Where are we? Ah, there we go. Okay, so window four is here. And um, we're going to try. Oh, there we go. It would help if I put my finger in the right place. Here we go. Oh, oh no. They are really firm, these windows. Um, I feel like, hang on. <laughs> so, my little tongue sticking out there. What is happening? <laughs> Okay, right. I think I think I've got a loop. I think I've got a handle on it. Ready? <laughs> That's amazing. Let's grab that one. Okay. Upstairs is coming through. Okay. Yes, that is awesome. How lovely is that? Beautiful, beautiful bright pink with these lovely speckles from all the previous days in there as well. That's real nice. Right, let's see if I can do this. I'm not sure I can continue to do what I'm doing because I'm gonna get them mixed up to three, but we'll try, we'll try. Oh, yeah, that, that's lovely. There we go. So there they are. Someone did say that it looked brilliant on the tree. I think you're right, they would, wouldn't they? They'd look so good on the tree. Right, let me try and put these back in the right doors. Uh, that's number two. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a different way of um, doing this because all my bits, all the side bits are starting to get a little less structur structurally, structurally sound. Is that the right word? I can't remember. Right, there we go. Right, I'm going to leave that one out because that was the one that was open today. So, on to Woolly Mamas. And grab it. So again, it's the lovely really jazzy reflective box that's what I was trying to think reflective so day four of the Make my drink fully um, mama advent calendar got three days there so if I grab day four pop that up there there we go so this is day four and let's try and get it again without actually <laughs> breaking the bag I have broken the bag twice, I think. Um, oh no, I think, oh yeah, I've got it this time. Right, are we ready? Oh, that's nice, that's lovely. Oh, it's very similar to uh, Siobhan's. We're on a pink, peachy theme today. So here's this one. This looks like Tutti Fruity, doesn't it? The lovely little sweets. I used to love Tutti Fruity sweets. So that's day four of the Woolly Mama advent. Um, I'm trying to, yeah, I think I am going to have to think of a different way of doing these because I'm going to get them mixed up and I'm going to have to look back. But there they are. So day one is here. Day two to day four, which is today. They look brilliant, don't they? So I might have to get a, um, I might have to get uh, some circular needles like I did with the Halloween box, um, the Wednesday Halloween box, get some circular needles and start threading them through in order so that I know I'm not going to get mixed up in terms of days. I don't really need to put them back in these things, but um, yeah, I'll have a think and then maybe do something with it later. Right, okay, on to the Zucami one. There it is. I do like this one. I'm so excited. And this is the one that I am 
working up into a shawl. I'm use, making the trifle wrap at the minute and it's coming along slowly. I am still two days behind, but that's fine. Um, right, as a quick reminder, we are still in Scotland. This is our last day in Scotland. So there is the inspiration image. Um, tomorrow we will be in a different country, so that's exciting. But for today, our final day in Scotland is box number four. Got another little um, sticky thing, so I'll take that off. Are we ready? I'm going to put it there so that I can look at it at the same time. Oh yes, 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 that will finish it off really nicely. I haven't got the I haven't got the other day's colours here because as I say I'm working them into a shawl. Oh that's beautiful, look at that, that matches perfectly, look. That's absolutely useful. So there we go, we've got another semi-solid today. Or a tone. Yep. Oh, absolutely beautiful that. That is gonna look so yeah, I'm really happy that I cast on with these colours now. Um, I was really apprehensive to begin with, but no, I'm really, really happy now. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. It wouldn't be the morning without the morning sneezes, would it? <laughs> to wake everybody up. But I'm going to leave this out of the box because I'm actually working on that, so I'll wind that on later. There. Right, and the final advent that I have to open is my Toft advent. I have the box here with all, all the other little bits in. Yesterday's clue was to add these little sparkle gems to the top here. And today we're going to find out what we've got. So here's the bag. I've not arranged it, I've, I've arranged it in order of uh, boxes so it kind of distorts the lovely top at the bottom I'm afraid. But um, let's get it open. I do like this bag, I've got to say. Right, I can see. Ah, day four, okay. So this is day four's box. And I've got a feeling I know what this might be, but I don't know what it is, if that makes sense. So we'll get we'll get to opening. So right. I know that last time they were right, we were ready. So that I can see. Oh. Okay, all right, all right. So that is day four. Ah, yes, I think, I think this is possibly where, um, where it may differ for people. I'm not 100% sure, because we've got a choice of a colour. And um, from memory, I believe that's what I chose. Um, so here it is, this is oatmeal. So I did have a feeling we would have some yarn today because we were told yesterday to leave this this loop live. So I think we're going to be working onto yesterday's clue with our new colour. So I think that's what we're going to be doing. Um, yeah, very intriguing. So I'm going to pop that back in there. there. Oh, it's so exciting. Um, it is 5.42 in the morning. And I think Kerry said that the clue is emailed to us at 6 a.m. every morning. I, was, I assume that's UK time. So let me pop that back. So in theory, in, well, 17 minutes time, clue four should be with us and I should be able to have a little nose and see if it's doable. Because I do have a little break before I go to work because um, I have to make my lunch and all of that. How exciting. But yeah, that's so exciting. Anywho, I'll show you today's colours. So today, oh, I can actually show you the fifth one as well. Resistant to coming out of the box. So here we are, today's colours. They're almost on a theme, aren't they? So this is Siobhan's. There we go. This is Woolly Mama's. This is the Cami. And then we've got the tuft one here. So if I put that there, you can see we're kind of in a in a kind of a theme. <laughs> but yes, beautiful, absolutely stunning. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think of a different way of doing Siobhan's calendar as well because the um the little I don't think they're called struts, separators that separate the the windows are starting to shift a little. 
and I got a little sneak peek of one of the days. I don't know if you did as well, you possibly might have. So I might have to open that one on my lap as well, just to make sure that um, we don't have any accidental sneak peeks. But yes, those are the colours for today. It's all very, very exciting. I'm very excited. As I say, I can't wait to work this one up. But I think Michelle from Shell Star Stitches, when she opened hers yesterday, um, she did say that Cassie doesn't normally do them in an order. So I think it's definitely going to be a calendar where I'll have to open them all and then decide what order I'll put them in. But I definitely want to do the Snowy Pines wrap with these because I think it will look beautiful. So... Um, yeah, obviously I'm not going to cast that on now, my goodness. Um, I need to get caught up with this Kami yarn project, <laughs> which I'm making the trifold wrap for. I need to get caught up with that. Um, obviously I need to do my toft clue for today as well. And there's just so many other things. My 12 birds of Christmas, I really need to finish those. But yeah, yesterday just wasn't going to happen. I was really, yeah, not really with it at all. <laughs> I'm not really with it this morning either, but it is very early. So... I'm going to stop here and um, I will catch up with you all in a little bit. I am back for my final check-in of today. I'm in a different location because my partner is at home today. He managed to get a day off today, which is really, really good. And he is sorting out the speakers. So there are speakers everywhere. He's doing all right, he's doing okay. He's got rid of some boxes and such, but yeah, it's, it's a bit of a mess downstairs at the minute. So that is our task for this afternoon, is to try and sort the space out so the speakers can find their home and we can reclaim a bit more of our living room that is the hopes so as i said final wrap up now um also it's been a work day so i've not got a lot to show you and the same will be said about tomorrow because it will be a work day and it's an in the office day so it's a bit harder for me to actually get stuff done on those sorts of days but I do have some things to show you. So I'm going to start with my trifle wrap. Um, this is the wrap that I am using the Zakami yarn advent calendar for. And I have just started day number three. So day number three was this really lovely um, variegated skein here with some really beautiful colours going on throughout. And I've just only just added that in. So I'm going to show you my progress. So you'll be able to see the chevrons a lot better now. Um, the shawl is really starting to take shape, which is nice. Um, yeah, so colour one, day one is down here. And then we've got day two is here. And as you can see, I'm just started on day three. I really like this pattern. It is really intuitive. So I've pretty much got the pattern in my head now. Um, the only times I need to look at the pattern are when we come to these yarn over parts, which are halfway through each of the sections. I'm assuming you can see everything okay. <laughs> I'm blocking my face so I can't see. Um, but yeah, I really like the pattern. It's really fun. It's one of those I can just sit and knit. The only thing I would say in terms of advent is I feel like if you do the full width, so this is the full width, um, it might be quite a challenge to get all of the whole of that clue, the whole of that um, yarn, if you will, in in that one day i for me i haven't quite got there yet obviously because i'm playing catch up i'm still technically two days behind um so i've got day four to put in after day three hoping hoping to catch up maybe wednesday and then i'll have a better idea as to how realistic this is in terms of keeping up with advent knitting uh, but for now it's a little bit much um because you're using quite a lot of the 20 gram skein so it's a lot of knitting but it's quite intuitive knitting, so it just rolls off the needles, basically. But yeah, I will update you further once I'm caught up. But for now, it's it's quite a big chunk of knitting to do in a day, especially when I'm at work and all of that stuff. Right, on to the other advent project that I'm working on, which is the Toft advent calendar. And I've really been enjoying it. I've opened the wrong box. Um, 
I've really been enjoying it. So today's advent was this colour. This is oatmeal. I chose oatmeal anyway. I think you could choose... Um, I can't remember what the choices were, but this is basically the skin tone. We're making a doll, from what I understand. Um, and this, we got to choose the skin tone for. So th this was the skin tone that I chose. And I'm going to show you day... What day are we on? Day four. Day four's clue. So... We've expanded onto yesterday's clue, which was these um, beadworks, and then we've added what looks to me suspiciously like a head. So I think we we were correct in thinking that this was a torso. I mean, it, we assumed it could have been many things: hot water bottle, sack, or torso. Um, I think torso is definitely the right way because we appear to have a head and also a leg what looks like a leg um my apologies the light in this room is terrible so you can't really see that but the violet is at the bottom and then we've added oatmeal or the skin tone onto the top there and it looks to me like a foot and a leg a foot and a leg it really does um possibly maybe we've, and we have to make two of them so i've made one i need to make the second one and i'll do that this afternoon so that is those alongside um day one's clue which was this so yes very intriguing indeed so we get you know things are starting to take shape we're starting to get some familiar looking shapes yeah really enjoying it so far um there's still a couple of beads left in here so i'm not entirely sure what we're going to be using those for yet um but there are a couple left i do have two boxes on the go because um, in the pattern today it recommended to keep parts for one in one box and parts for the other in another box so yeah I'm just going to keep the two boxes going so those are my advent projects that's where I'm up to with them so far as I said we've got a couple of things to do this afternoon um, I'm going to help my partner try and sort the living room out so that we can get the speakers set up um, and hopefully I will have some time to do some knitting and hopefully I will be able to finish at least uh, the second leg for my toft project um, I would really like to do some more knitting on my trifle wrap but as I say I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have to play it by ear this afternoon and see how things go because I do need to edit this video as well and get it out to you today um, right I am gonna leave that there because there really isn't much else to show you I'm afraid as I say very busy day and I've not really been home so as I said, I'm going to leave that there and thank you so, so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.